just didn't. Oh man. Why did I do that? Interesting to see whether this video is going to be any better than the previous one. But basically, uh, it's off to. Off to Skandik Simon Kenta with Terhi. We're just dropping off uh, Pihla who visited Elisa for the night. And uh, then we're going to the restaurant and, le uh, sorry, the hotel. And then later on, we're going to go to the restaurant. Funny enough, um, I'm feeling unpleasantly weak and uh, uh, we call it it's it is not a nice feeling so maybe some of the weakness that, that I experienced during the fast wasn't all fast induced but it was to do with this illness and a uh, what do you call it I do however have the munchies nowadays uh, that my food consumption has increased uh, what do you call it or I seem to eat a lot more uh, electricity now it's at this very minute when I'm sitting down I don't feel it but it has been the norm for two days now that my left leg is it feels this kind of weird sensation of the back of the leg so, let's see how it goes. So far, one of the nicest Scandics that, uh, what do you call it, I have visited. And, uh, and there he, so, there is a balcony out there. Let us take you there. And a... Uh, and the balcony is right downtown Helsinki. And uh, you can see that's the old bus terminal there. There's main post office and then there's Sokos. And uh, there's Hotel President and uh, we call it this is I think that's nightclub. Is it Tiger or something like that? On the opposite uh, mm -hmm. roof. Uh, it's not the first hotel that we've had with a balcony, uh, which is kind of nice. But this is something that is for the first time. Uh, we have a sauna in the room. And uh, this is something that uh, we will hopefully be using later on today if Terry's feeling up to it. How do you call it? She was feeling a bit under the weather uh, before she left for Suomalainen and Kirjakauppa. But yeah, we're gonna have a nice dinner at uh, what do you call it? Uh, a restaurant Olo. Uh, which uh, we have a prepaid menu and uh, then after that we will come here and have a enjoy a sauna uh, what else we had a good prayer together with the wife uh, it, uh, because how do I say? 
Oh, that's funny that I think that the thing that is most helpful for you, uh, it is one of the things that is the first one you kind of forego. And uh, it would be good to be reminded that as a Christian, prayer is what sustains you. And be reminded of that. Yeah. Let's see how the day progresses. So tomorrow it's when late morning and then it's an ease back home and then it's off to London on an early morning. So yeah, uh, and a, a week. Uh, don't know what is causing it at the moment. Um, haven't been uh, rigorous about my intermittent fasting, so I've been eating in the morning. So, what do you call it? I'm thinking that uh, maybe that's something that needs to be done uh, because the, yeah, clearly the best I've felt is after eating a couple of days after the fast uh, but now I'm feeling uh, shakier than, uh, than then but I'm still feeling you know considerably well uh, compared to the worst that I've been and uh, yeah let's see let's see how it goes and uh, I trust that this will end up well and God is gonna heal me uh, I just what do you call it it's a bit of a struggle had a spectacular dinner last night. The only problem is, what do you call it? I'm now debating whether alcohol is good for me, and might might it be that that is causing me to uh, feel worse for wear, uh, because. At least a lot of the people who have this day go through their diet evaluating different things and seeing what they what they do to them and uh, and uh, not an amount that you would be getting drunk in anyway but still I'm feeling quite awful at the moment so it might be that. There he also has some kind of a stomach flu, so see she's not feeling up to it either. And then that's a completely different story. And uh, but 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 so it's off to home and packing for London. And uh, we're praying, or at least I was praying a lot. That, how is it possible that a Christian family that believes in in Jesus and that uh, that He still heals and that miracles do happen? Why? Why is it so? difficult to actually uh, what are the mechanisms of having a miracle happen in your life and, uh, that's weird. but anyway not to mean I'm target slew 
So, a quick rundown of the Olaf food, which was sublime. It had this wow effect that fine dining restaurants have not had in a while. You kind of halfway got used to it, but this there was this definite feeling of uh, being wowed by the food. So when it came in there, there was a kind of bucket uh, or a metal jar filled with dough and we were warned not to touch it unless we wanted to have flat bread uh, during the dinner and uh, you didn't get to choose anything they just you could I said that I had I, I prefer my meal without meat and milk or dairy products and uh, they were okay with that they asked permission to cook with butter and I said yes please do I know that it what do you call it? Uh, I don't get uh, a nasty reaction of butter. I don't get a nasty reaction from anything unless you consider MS a nasty reaction. Uh, but in the sense, I, I feel normal. But anyway, there was dough on the table when we got in. I just presented that I, I don't like meat and, uh, and what do you call it? Uh, dairy. Started off by me getting retisi, I don't know the English name, for starters, and there he got some pork, pork cheek, and then we had a, I can't remember what that, it was a gnoc, gnocchi made of something, filled with creamy sauce, and this was another started that I can't remember what it was called but it was a it was a baked casing with uh, smoky I'd say bacon like substance in it plus a potato chip uh, sorry it tasted like a potato chip but it was something extra then there was semolina you can go onto MTV's uh, web pages and you can find the uh, what do you call it a video of them cooking this but it's like semolina that you've ever never tasted it's uh, and it, yeah it's got I think roasted da reindeer heart crumbled on top of it uh, then it was king, king crab and gherkin uh, powder or something like that, I can't remember. Uh, scallops and herbs. Uh, this is where my dinner differed from Terhi. She got beef tartare and I got smoked beetroot. Tasted absolutely excellent. Mm. And then the bread returned, uh, which they took uh, after the starters, they took it away. Uh, and they cooked it and brought it back with their own butter, uh, self-made butter and a garlic, roasted garlic puree. Then it was just onions and the broth tasted absolutely marvelous. And then it was turbot, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, it's made, Finnish name for it, and kale sauce. Uh, then it was leek filled with uh, salmon roll. Funny enough, I forgot one dish from the recording, which is reindeer prepared two ways. Uh, and they can't say I remember a lot about this dish, so maybe this was. Uh, one of the, how do, okay, how do I say, forgettable ones in the whole menu. But it was, I mean, I was, it was plate looking good anyway, but compared to all the others, I think it was, uh, uh, it wasn't as good as the others. Must be an absolutely a phenomenal 
video clip that I'm creating because this is now the third time that I'm recording it. I'm either cutting my head off or uh, the video isn't repeating when I try and play it uh, after I've recorded it. So there's something uh, fishy going on. So now uh, the last, I hope the last try of the two last dishes that we ate. So the first one of the desserts was a uh, pumpkin ice cream and coconut sorbet. Um, they, did, they did a mistake with this dish. They brought it to us twice. Me being a good Christian, I then said that we already had this and they took it away. So we pretty much could have eaten this pumpkin ice cream twice and it would have been worth the while. It was nice. And then, as the final dish, we had this uh, turni. Um, it has a funny Latin name. I'll post it on the video at the bottom, but what do you call it? Uh, it was a weird, this cube. It was solid when you picked it up in your, on your fork. But when you chucked it in your mouth, it just dissolved. And there was nothing. It turned into air with a slight taste in your mouth. I don't know what that was. Uh, it was an excellent menu and it had a wow factor to it, which uh, hasn't happened in a while. And uh, what do you call it? Uh, sad to say that Terry had to taste it twice. One's going down and one's coming up. So that was a bit of a downer on an otherwise very pleasant weekend was that both of us were feeling under the weather. Uh, so, I don't know if I'm going to be able to post anything from London because the Brits have a funny thing of charging uh, you for, for the internet. I think in Scandinavia, internet is can, considered uh, a basic human right, just like water and, and stuff like that. You don't charge for that. But there they they might actually charge you by the amount of bits that you transfer. So there is a possibility that I won't be sending anything. And then they've been eating these now. But they sent or brought these methyl B12 uh, supports brain cells and nerve tissue. Uh, and then the other one is healthy origins vitamin D <laughs> ultra potency vitamin D and uh, I'm chucking these three a day and the other ones one a day so thank you for, for those but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be eating them it seems like Juani sent me some uh, supplement and then Pate has sent me pills. I think Yuhani has brought Kalam and then this uh, small herb like liquid and, uh, and then I've been taking vitamin D and now these that Pate brought and then I've been eating these are from the what do you call it the Buomu uh, Markkina so they're so they organic nuts right. first in the morning then it's something vegetable seafood and nut during the rest of the day so I start eating after noon so Let's see how it goes. Alcohol might be dropped for at least out for a couple of weeks just to see what the effects are. Thanks for watching. Uh, 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 and God bless.